In today's video, we're going to be talking about the synapse. So the synapse is a structure which allows a neuron to pass its electrical signal onto another neuron. And this is very important for neuronal function. Otherwise, the neurons won't be able to transmit impulses from one end to the other. So it just allows for the progression of a nerve impulse from one place to the other. So the important thing that you need to know is a synapse helps the neurons to transfer impulses from one to the other and so forth. The diagram here on the left shows you what a synapse looks like. So it's just this connecting point between one axon terminal and the dendrite of another neuron. So what happens is the action potential needs to get from this side of the neuron onto this other side here to another neuron. So the action potential is going to arrive here. Um, we have these voltage gated calcium channels on the presynaptic membrane. So that's this part here. So once the impulse or the action potential arrives here, these voltage gated calcium channels open and calcium ions which are in the synaptic cleft will move inside this axon terminal. And what this does is it causes these synaptic vesicles which contain neurotransmitters to move and fuse onto this presynaptic membrane. So they release all of their neurotransmitters into this synaptic cleft and the neurotransmitters here then bind onto the receptors on the postsynaptic membrane. And what this does is it initiates an action potential to eventually form here in the dendrite or in the other neuron. So that's just the basics of how a synapse works. There's different types of synapses. So we can have excitatory, so it causes the nerve impulse to continue and carry on onto another neuron, or it can be inhibitory, where it causes the impulse to stop from that point. And another thing that you need to know is that there's different types of interfaces. So the synapses are usually classified based on what they're connecting to. So we have axosecretory synapses. This is where the axon terminal secretes directly into the bloodstream. We have axoaxonic, which is where the axon terminal secretes into another axon of another nerve. We have axodendritic, so the axon terminal ends on a dendrite spine of another neuron. We have axoextracellular, which is where the axon uh, has no connection with another neuron, but it secretes its neurotransmitters into the extracellular fluid. And we have axosomatic and axosynaptic. So axosomatic is where the axon terminal releases the neurotransmitter onto another cell head or soma of a neuron. And axosynaptic is where the axon terminal ends onto another axon terminal.